Hello and welcome, this is Oshi and this is gonna be another unboxing because yes, I'm still buying decks. So this was uh, half planned and half not planned getting this deck because I really like the design but I was like oh it's from Australia, it must be expensive to get it, blah blah blah. But in the end it wasn't that expensive so I'm quite happy I got it. I only opened the outside of the package and kept this part to show you because this, you know, this, I cut it off. This bee was actually on the outside so you can Im immediately tell what is, you know, coming. Which is really cool and I really like this design so I was happy to see it. But I'm not keeping that forever. <laughs> and this is the box. I know, very very fancy box. <laughs> and I'm so sad but I had to murder the bee sticker because that was the only way to get into the box which I'm gonna open outside of the camera so inside we have this little label saying that everything is recyclable which is really cool and I like the orange uh, tissue paper so I will have to make sure to keep these separate from anything else, you know, any other kind of peanuts, um, that's their name, so that I can either, I think I'm gonna, you know, just dump them in the compost, that seems to be something that could work, so before moving on, here is a card, because the, the guidebook is uh, digital, so I, I kind of like that because with Oracle decks especially and I, I can you see that it's embossed really cool I don't stand to reach for them that often I usually read each card at once I mean you know go through the guidebook and then when I pull a card and I don't I'm not entirely sure about the meaning then I check it so this is how it arrives the same orange, um, similar, a bit more of like a blood orange, if that helps with the coloring and murdering the wrapping outside of the camera. Okay, so this is the deck and it has a really nice soft matte finish and is it, I don't wanna, no it should be, you know, glued. Gluten? Is it gluten or is it just... Oh my god, I'm so... Okay, is it magnetic? Oh yes. <laughs> I, was a... I was kind of worried that I would uh, screw up the box. So this is the man, my Soul Whispered Oracle deck. Which is so lovely, watercolor design and that's what I'm... That's what I was most drawn uh, to first. And then I watched Lisa's walkthrough and if you follow her and I'm assuming you are <laughs> you know how dangerous that can be so the deck is by Melissa Salvaggio Salvag yeah, Salvaggio Salvaggio I think so this is her beautiful design and it's a bit stiff but we don't care here and now I wrote a, I wrote I wow I can't read I want to love everything that I am and everything that I am to become. That's sweet. And then you have the card. Oh, there we go. Did I completely forgot about that? Ooh, can I just take it off, please? To be honest, I really like when the cards are only wrapped with just a piece of... It can be paper as well, like the Oak Ash and Thorn was, because the less hassle, the better. Ooh, it feels so nice. I usually am not a fan of gold gilding, but this doesn't feel like something that would cut into your hand. And I have small hands and this just fits perfectly. I would say this is the mm, regular playing card size or maybe a tad bit thinner. And this, yeah, it, it has a lovely finish. Is it rose petal? No. Or, or just similar to that. I f it feels kind of similar to the Dark Mansion tarot, but I don't know. Okay, so let's go through the cards. I have no idea how many of them. 
44. Okay, so we have abundance with the goldfish, which is perfect. And look at all those colors. I really like that ink and watercolor. Is that's how I plan to do my own deck, the 42 Oracle. I just need to start <laughs> working on the designs. This is the back, yeah. Uh, acceptance. I'm quite curious why a cherry blossom is with acceptance, and I really like the font as well. I always like when that's one of the parts that I like in watercolor that you can just, you know, make all these splashes and it just looks cool. Okay, we have advocate with a flower I cannot recognize right now because I'm really bad at flowers and why do I say that it's so weird? Flowers, flowers <laughs> and uh, animals and stuff. Balance with a bee. I have a bee in my own deck, but I have service with it, so I'm quite curious why balance is there. Belong, another bird. Mm, I don't think I know this bird. This is a colibri, at least. Boundaries, and yeah, I know what, how viciously co uh, they um, protect their own territory. I didn't know that until recently. Clarity with the moon. And the moon signals clarity in my zombie oracle deck. <laughs> Communicate with the elephant. Interesting. For me, elephants are memory, you know, because they live long and they remember. Confidence with a sunflower. That's really cool. Oh, I really like how it feels. Oh, for that uh, just reason only, I think <laughs> it will work well with the Dark Mansion Tarot. Because <laughs> you can be all like, oh, what is it like? <laughs> what does the car say? <laughs> be all pervy about it. <laughs> Connected with the tree and Rose, yeah. Tree of life. It's, it's really cool. Because it could have been any tree and it still worked, but with, since it's a tree of life kind of shape, it's, it works even better. Decision. Oh, with a compass. That's cool. Is it a limited color palette or... No, not the limited. Okay. Desire. Huh. Mot the flame. Huh? And yeah, I like that. It's, it can be very dangerous to feel like that. Determination with a fox. Interesting that it's so much more colorful than this, for example. Much stronger oranges and reds. Uh, divinity. I mean, I don't look at angels the same way as, you know, Bible um, reading people do, but I don't mind. Because how do you illustrate the divine? It's really hard. And the angel wings are wood. And the gl halo. Yeah, that's the halo, right? And then Gloria. <laughs> Emotion. Hmm. <laughs> I'm assuming the... Flower tells you something. Empathy with a turtle. Hmm. Are turtles really empathetic? I don't know. Have to check. Expectation. With a female lion, right? That's lioness. Huh. Interesting pairings. Forgive with a bouquet of flowers. Oh, look at that we have. Um, it's kind of like a Chinese a bit with this part, but it's still a dragon. And it's interesting because what's more <laughs> out of it and not grounded than a dragon <laughs> in a way. Well, I would speak what I would choose with the dragon would be something fiery and, 
Yeah, power probably. But that's just me. And it's not my deck, so who cares? Healing with a rose, interesting. And again, the more muted colors. Inside. There is an eye inside. <laughs> yeah, I'll shut up. Journey. Hmm. It feels like the, the illustrations were done in multiple phases, maybe? Joy, with a not so happy son. <laughs> she, it, it's not smiling. Kindness, with a polar bear. Oh. Should we be kind to polar bears and not, you know, destroy their life? What is it called in English? Uh, territory where they live? Oh, limitless. We need a unicorn. Oh, and I really like, like this pink. It looks like a rose madden. But on a, a stronger. So it's it's just probably Queen of Gridon. Rose, which is also one of my favorite pinks. Listen, yes, yes. The High Priestess in this deck. <laughs> That's really pretty. Motivate. A star. Dreams, I guess. Wishing upon a star can motivate you. And oh, we have the owner of the inside card now, a peacock. This is so interesting and I I wanted to cheat, you know, and check the guidebook first, but then I didn't want to. I don't know why, because I've seen walkthroughs, but I kind of felt like it's it's better to do it this way. And I'm not the biggest fan of this. Oh god, what is it called? Uh, Prey Mantis. When I... Uh, one of the last days when I went to the library, uh, and I mean, I walked to work, one of them was sitting on a wall, and I was like, ah! You know, I crept close to it, took a picture, and then ran away pretty much. Because, <laughs> you know, there has to be a proof that I met a Prey Mantis. <laughs> And I need his strength to do that. <laughs> hmm. Wasn't there? No, there was no, just a lioness. And then there's a lion. Okay. For, for a second I thought that there was some third lion. Transcend. Interesting. I mean, I recently read up on dream catchers. Because someone mentioned uh, a na native, that's how you say it, Native American girl mentioned how annoyed she is that you know people are using it because it's sacred uh, only to her tribe and it shouldn't be used. And yeah, it just sucks when something that meant or symbolized protection and a deeper message to you and your kind, your people, suddenly becomes just a symbol everyone just throws because it's pretty. I'm not saying the, you know, the creator did that. I just know that you can, you know, Google Dreamcatcher and buy and it just won. I mean, I think I had one too because it's it just, you know, it looks pretty, but I don't think we we bought it for just because it's pretty, but because you know what it should do, catch bad dreams. But you know, yeah, I, I read up on it and it's much more deeper. But I guess it's just proves that you can't really protect something sacred because once it's out, it's out. I'm not saying it's good but it's just saying that no matter what you do you can't stop that unfortunately but what do I know nothing so let's move on transformation those issues are too big for me and I'm not part of them so you know just thinking out loud unconditional really I don't know people like swans <laughs> people I don't know 
I usually hear that oh swans are so pretty but all I can see when I look at a picture of a swan is how it was trying to catch my brother and it was chasing after him in the water in Lake Balaton when we were little and how terrifying that was <laughs> and I know that you know it's probably just felt like it needed to protect the, the baby swans but oh god that was you know like full speed chasing after you something like this is freaking scary understanding uh, I know the name of this flower I mean no I know about the flower I'm gonna tell you sure in Hungarian so let's move on vibration oh okay I don't know enough about this symbol though I mean I know I see it all the time I just never really looked up what it means and it's interesting that on some pictures the paint is more uh, highlighted or how do you say permanent no that's not the word more focus there's more focus on the you know the colors than the line work and there are these where the line work is so precise and just intricate that is pretty much doesn't care what's you know in the background color it's not that important and there are this and the two are completely you know like the fox was i don't mind i'm not saying it i i just i find it interesting and i wish i could paint and, and draw like this i would have learning with an owl because why not worthy why is the ladybug symbolizes worthiness hmm i will need to read okay and i think these are the chakra ones which i'm not knowledgeable enough sacral uh, uh, yeah, let's not pretend i know the chakras names in english it's a microcosm it's the root i think that's the first and then there's the second chakra i think from down to up <laughs> well you need to you know either buy the deck or buy the deck to figure this one out manifest oh, i really like how it feels Manifest. This is the solar plexus, right? Love is the harsh chakra, I'm assuming. Truth should be the throat chakra. And intuition is the third eye, which makes sense. And I love the purple because it's cool tone that I'm so. I, I don't like red tone. Purples, I'm, I'm a violet kind of person. See, I like this over this, which is the macrocosm, which is the crown chakra. I have no idea if these are illustrations add or to it, or you know, there's something that connects to each of them, but I'm assuming I will check it. And I also don't know if I'm gonna leave them in the deck. Uh, I will have to check what the description is and how I could use it. But oh god, look at this. Can you see how just nice <laughs> the gilding is? I appreciate nice gilding. And yeah, I really appreciate the finish. And yeah, that's beautiful. And I should shut up. And I'm not gonna draw a card right now because I don't have the guidebook with me and just you know oh we're gonna be abundant is not really uh helpful so this was actually quick i mean who knew i really like this deck and i i'm i think it's gonna work well with most of my decks right now i'm still testing the sacred uh destiny oracle deck that's the main one that i'm using with it, all my readings right now because i'm uh planning on doing a, a six months in soon on that one but after that, I think this is gonna be the next oracle one. Or who knows? Who knows? Because if the field 
Guide the Dragons arrives soon, then I might do that and pick that one, but who knows, who knows. But I, I definitely want to, you know, use this as so give me an option for that, please book a reading with me or just reach out on Instagram for a one uh, card quick reading for free. Uh, all my info is down in the description below. Please like this video if you liked it. Subscribe, hit that uh, little bell because sometimes I upload videos out of schedule and you won't miss that if you want to, you know, keep track. But yeah, that's all and thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!